So it's 2024 and you want to get started in your career as a cybersecurity professional. And I'm here to tell you how to do that. Well, I myself have been in the field of cybersecurity for roughly eight years. And prior to that, I worked as a systems administrator or systems engineer. And what I want to tell you is that there's a few avenues you could go down to pursue a career in cybersecurity. Now, I'd say in 2024, there's a lot more availability. It's a lot more accessible in terms of knowledge sharing and, uh, you know, the mediums in which you can upskill. Um, if I just go back into my experience, when I started in cybersecurity officially, like formally, that was around 2016. But I was still very much interested in cybersecurity from around 2011, 2012, so very early on in my career. However, I wasn't really aware that this is something that could be turned into a career. And I'll tell you why. Because if you look back uh, in time, like if you go back to uh, news articles and videos and all these things, there, were, there was a lot less content available. It wasn't as established as it is now. So in order to gain that information and learn the skill and, and break into the industry, it was a lot more challenging. Not impossible, but challenging. Now I say this because when I started off, literally the only resource I had was my own intuition, my curiosity, my IT skills, and a few books, like vague books about the topic of hacking. And the problem is that a lot of these books are far-fetched and just get you to download a bunch of tools that is probably mostly relevant to being a script kitty and has nothing to do with establishing your career in cybersecurity or gaining the skill of becoming, say, a penetration tester. So let me try and break it down for you. Right. There are one of two ways you could break into the cybersecurity industry. But fundamentally, whichever, uh, whichever path you choose, you need to sort of focus on these key areas first. Now, I'll take my own experience, for example. Prior to me becoming a cybersecurity consultant and a penetration tester, I worked as a system administrator. So what that meant was that uh, everything IT related within the company was my responsibility, be it the servers, be it the network printers, anything that you can think of, the firewalls. Now, it's a very broad concept, right? Some people just refer to me as the IT guy. The more formal and romantic term would be system administrator. But the point is, that was my background. And as a result, I had a very good grasp of infrastructure and server-related concepts in the field of IT. I understood TCP protocols. I understood Windows Active Directory and how this all comes together. So that was a good foundation for me when I eventually got into cybersecurity. Now, if I, because if you watch any of my other videos, it's very focused on mar uh, martial arts, right? It's kind of like the same thing of people uh, wanting to train in mixed martial arts. Yes, you can go in there and you can start training in the sport of mixed martial arts, but generally some of the best uh, athletes in the sport are people who come from a specific background, be it judo, be it uh, boxing, be it taekwondo, be it uh, sambo, and, and like that's a very abstract example. But what I'm trying to say is um, bring it back to cybersecurity. So where you are at now, if you are a college student or if you're already employed, you kind of need to look at where your skills lie. Where is that foundation? If you're going to university, you probably have an all-round theoretical knowledge with a little bit of a practical knowledge. And uh, depending on the type of course you're doing, you probably could be focused a little bit more on development, maybe a little bit more on machine learning and AI. And all those things can contribute to cybersecurity. If you're currently working as a developer or systems engineer or network administrator, all those things serve as a foundation. So, I, so my advice would be to start, start with what you already know. That would propel your... Um, your way forward into cybersecurity. Um, so I want to take a step back and I want to talk about back in 2011 or 2012 
when I first kind of realized that cybersecurity could actually be a career because I didn't know that this was a thing up until then. So I was working for um, I was working for a really big company and I was the only IT resource. And as a result, I had a lot of responsibility. Um, and then fast forward well, a few year, a couple of years later, I moved on into one of the big corporates. I got a new job. The pay was better and everything, but I found that everything was siloed. People were very siloed. So like you had to do a specific role and that was it. And coming from the background I had come from, I found that really boring. So what I started to do was tinker with the uh, software, with the application uh, in, that was used on the help desk. And I discovered some authentication bypass and, and it's effectively a vulnerability. And um, later on, I was called into a boardroom by the manager, the senior manager and the partner of the company. And effectively what they said was, we kind of discovered what you've been up to, you've uh, found a loophole in the system and you've been using it. And what I basically said was, well, look, I have stated that I come from a very strong technical background and I'm bored doing this. And all I'm doing is tinkering and trying to keep myself occupied. And surprisingly, like that went really well. They didn't, uh, they didn't let, uh, fire me, they didn't give me a warning or anything of that sort. They're just like, okay, thank you, we appreciate it. Just let us know before you break into anything. And that was the first time in my life where I thought, wow, cybersecurity could actually become a career. Again, it kind of came, it ties back to, I had that foundation. At this point, I didn't do any courses. I didn't read up on any formal frameworks that's out there. It was just curiosity. And I think that's probably one of the m most important things also. You have to have the curious mindset if you want to get into cybersecurity because it's, it is an ever-changing landscape. There's always something you beat weekly or monthly. So you kind of have to have that sort of aptitude almost where you want to be curious all the time and you want to discover. And if you have, if you can nail that down, and that can't be taught, by the way, then everything else hopefully will be a lot more simplified for you. Now, so that's the first approach is leveraging your skills and what you are good at and using that to your advantage and the organic way and again i just want to stress that back then there weren't as many resources available on the internet there weren't as many courses available so it really was through discovery trial and error and the people who are in the industry were people who are actually legitimate hackers uh quote unquote and effectively, that's what cybersecurity is. There's an attacker and there's a defender. And how do we acknowledge what the attacker does and how do we prevent him from or her or them from doing what they do? Fundamentally, in a very high level, that's what it is. Obviously, we can get into debate of the ifs and buts and whens and blah, blah, blah. But that's what it is. So the other route is uh, applying online for certification. Now, this also in itself is a whole other, other beast on its own, and I intend to make a different video at, uh, at another point in time for this particular topic. But there are essentially dozens of certifications out there. And the only advice I can give you as someone who is starting out, if you, are, if you choose to go to this route first, granted, it is not a bad idea. However, just be aware that there are some certifications out there that's just for the name. It sounds good and it's just a title to put on a CV or put on an email signature, but you don't really walk away from something or walk away with anything like in terms of skill. And this is a problem because when you attend interviews for a cybersecurity role, be it a cybersecurity engineer, be it a penetration tester, be it a uh, security operations engineer, whatever it may be, they will ask you at least a handful of technical questions, very role specific, industry specific questions that you would need to answer. And some of these questions will be situational based. So really you, there is a level of skill that's necessary, but there is light in the, end of the tunnel because there's also um, dozens of resources, plenty of resources out there that focus on skill development. Some of these may not necessarily be uh, certifications but it's kind of like the gamification of security and it allows you the opportunity the landscape to build on your skills instead of having to build a vulnerable network 
a test environment or sandbox on your own, which you still can do, by the way, it's what I had to do when I started. But as we speak, literally, you could, within the next 15 minutes, sign up into, into one of, onto one of these platforms and you could start learning. Now, what you want to walk away, the key takeaway, especially in the beginning, especially in the beginning, the key takeaway is what skills can I gain from the certification? What skills do I take away? Once, because you want to kind of break into the industry, right? So once you kind of get that foundation and you can sit in an interview and you confidently answer questions and, and you can land a job because it's a goal, you want to land your first job, then you can start ex start exploring the landscape a bit more. Cool, do I, do I need something that's just going to look good on my CV so I can get another job or promotion? Do I want to keep focusing on certifications or do I want to go the more organic route again which is just focus on research. There's no, there's no certific certificate in a bit. I'm just curious and I love researching, which by the way is one of the most fun things in cybersecurity. Researching, doing research, coming, innovating, coming up with new ideas and trying new things and being the first or one of the few people to find that zero day or that issue or that problem or that vulnerability. That is, that is an experience on its own that uh, words cannot express. So this is the, these are generally the like the rough guidelines of how you can approach it if you want to get a role in cybersecurity, and I, it, it is a hot topic. There are literally like I get maybe tens of people reaching out to me uh, on a weekly or monthly basis asking me asking me questions about this thing. Maybe not on YouTube, but in my own personal network. And I think like like I said, fundamentally, if I could wrap it up for you start with what are your skills once your foundation where your interest lies how curious are you about a particular thing and then perhaps look and just focus on skill development because it is effectively a skill driven industry and the more skills you gain the better it will be for you in the future so there you have it that's my very short take on how to get started uh, in cybersecurity. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of it, please hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and I will do my best to answer them. Take care and goodbye.